Apis mellifera, the common honeybee. Hardworking, diligent, always going about their business, always making delicious honey. I just want to take a second to welcome you to my new channel, Johnny Builds. Today I'm building a standing desk with a steel base for my friend David. So thanks for checking it out. I really hope you enjoy. And now it's time to get busy. I made the base of this desk out of three inch tube steel. And since I don't have a welder, my friend Greg was kind enough to let me use his shop and tools to fabricate the base. I also didn't have a metal chop saw. So here you see me using an angle grinder to make all these cuts. As you can see, I started with a seven inch cutting disc, but it had a tendency to drift during each cut. Here I switch over to a four and a half inch disc, and this gave me much more control and made for way more accurate cuts. I marked out a template on the shop floor and used this to lay out and mark all the cuts. Then it was back to the angle grinder to make all of these angled cuts. I laid out each piece back on the template and made sure everything was lining up properly. Here you see David grinding with a flap desk getting all the surfaces ready for welding. This is actually my first time welding and here Greg is showing me how to tack weld each section together. And then it was my turn to give it a go. As you can see, I was far from perfect, but I got the hang of it fairly quickly. I know I still have a ton to learn, but I actually really enjoyed welding. I took my time and worked my way around both legs welding together all the joints. As you can see, these welds were pretty ugly, but it was nothing that some grinding couldn't fix. Next, I cut and welded on the stretcher piece that ties in the two sides of the legs. The whole base assembly was polished up with a flap disc, and just like that, the legs were complete. Now I brought the base back to my own shop to get started working on the desktop. The top of this desk is going to be made out of walnut plywood, framed out, and maple. I used a piece of foam insulation on my workbench to cut the plywood on, and this reduces the tear out and saves my bench from getting sliced up. The desktop is going to be 3 by 5 foot, and here I am marking out the first cut. I actually forgot to account for the 3 quarter inch frame, but luckily I caught this and cut the piece down to 34 and a half inches wide. And since I don't have a track saw, I used my Craig Rip Cut Jig here, and this is super handy for making accurate cuts along the width. Next I rough cut the length down with a circular saw, and then moved over to the table saw to cut it down to its final dimension. Here I'm marking and cutting the piece that I'll use for the stretchers over on the chop saw. I cut these into three inch strips and this gives the desk an appearance of being two layers of plywood thick. Each stretcher piece gets glued on, and then I could go back and pre-drill and countersink all the holes for the screws.
Each stretcher gets attached with inch and a quarter screws. Now the base still needed a place to attach to the desktop. So here you see me cutting four six inch by six inch supports and these get attached to the underside of the desk. And then each one of these supports was attached with some wood glue and four screws each. Next, I could use my random orbital sander to sand up the entire desktop all the way up to 220. Over on the joiner, I am milling up the piece of maple that I used for the frame. I jointed one face and one edge. The opposite face gets ran through the planer. This was four quarter maple so I milled it down to three quarters of an inch thick. Back on the table saw, I ripped this down into one and a half inch strips to use for the frame. I used my miter sled to make sure I got super accurate picture frame quality mitered cuts. I took my time and crept up on each cut to avoid cutting them too short. I worked my way around the frame measuring, marking, and cutting each piece. This paid off and the frame came out very accurate. I flipped the desk over on my workbench and used a few clamps to line up the longer frame pieces. I glued on the shorter ends first. I worked my way around the frame, gluing and shooting a few brads to hold everything in place. My workbench is fairly flat, so everything lined up pretty good, but I did have to do just a little bit of sanding to flush the frame up completely. On the base, I drilled two holes for each mounting plate. I laid out the top on the base, lined everything up, and marked all the hole locations. Then I could remove the top and apply two coats of a natural Danish oil. This has to be my favorite part of the build. I just love how the deep browns and tans of the walnut jump out when the finish is applied. Next, I could attach the top to the base and the standing desk was complete. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe to see what I'm working on next. Thanks a lot and remember, keep on building.